guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the 2014 Ninja Turtles movie, April O'Neil. That's right, it's a new version of April, as portrayed by Megan Fox in the upcoming Ninja Turtles movie. Let's go ahead and take a look at her action figure. As you can see, she comes in the standard new Ninja Turtles movie blister card packaging. Featuring that bright green colored background and the Ninja Turtles movie logo across the top, as well as images of the four turtles running alongside the box. The back of the package just gives you a description of the new movie, and below that we get a look at some of the figures being offered in this new lineup. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at this new version of April outside of the packaging. So, first and foremost, the likeness not very Megan Fox like. Let's go ahead and start with that head sculpt there. Megan Fox is the new April O'Neil, but this action figure doesn't really look anything like Megan Fox. However, it's still a really nice head sculpt there, and it's got a really decent paint job. She's got the dark brown hair, and it's sculpted nicely to kind of come over her shoulders, as well as hang down over her back there. And then she's got kind of the lighter pink lips, and there's some really nice paintwork in the eyes and everything, so it's a nice head sculpt, it just doesn't really have the actress's likeness. But maybe that's okay, because if you don't really want a Megan Fox April O'Neil figure, this could still make for a nice April figure, so something to think about there. She's wearing a bright yellow jacket, so it's kind of a throwback to the signature yellow jumpsuit that she wore in the old Ninja Turtles cartoon. And she's got like a gray tank top underneath that. She's just wearing some bright blue jeans and some, some black th boots there, and that's really it. I mean, the paint job is really basic, but it's nice and bright and clean, so it's a really nice looking figure. Articulation is pretty limited on her, however. The head can turn left and right, but the rigid sculpt of the hair does hinder the movement just a bit. She does have the nice joints at the arms, so the arms can go all the way outwards, move forwards and backwards, but there's no articulation in the elbows. Uh, she does have swivels at the wrist, which is nice. She does have a waist cut articulation there. She's got the hinge joints at the thigh, so the legs can actually go outwards, move forwards and backwards. But then there's no articulation in the knees or the boots or the feet or anything like that. So you're really not going to get a lot of poses out of her. Her arms are always straight. Her legs are always straight. There's just not a lot you can do with her. She does actually include a few different accessories, which are pretty nice. She's got a nice little over-the-shoulder uh, camera case. It's just done in a solid black plastic, so there's no painted detail or anything, but it's a neat looking little accessory, and you can get it draped over her head and even fit it underneath her hair so that it hangs nicely at her side. And then to go right along with that, she comes with a camera. Now again, the camera, no painted detail, solid black plastic, and you can get her to hold it into her hand just fine. But, since she doesn't have any good articulation in the arms, you can't actually get her posed using the camera or even holding it two-handed. The only pose you can really get out of it is her just kind of holding it and resting it at her side there. Now she also includes a pair of Raphael size. They're the exact same sculpt as the ones that come with the Raphael figure, and as you can see, they are huge in her hands. So, that again shows you just how big the turtle's weapons are here. I don't know exactly why she comes with these, I assume it's from a scene in the movie. When we get to see the movie, we'll know for sure, but if you don't want to pose these size with her, you could always give them to the undercover Raphael figure you have who didn't come with them, so that's kind of a neat little thing to know. Now April stands exactly 5 inches tall, so that means she stands the same height as Raphael and Leonardo and some of the other turtles here. I believe that's inaccurate to the movie, because from everything I've seen in the trailers and everything, it looks like the turtles are really big this time around, so I think they should be a little bit bigger than her. But I'm gonna say that I actually like the size here. The size that she looks compared to the turtles and the action figures, that's preferable to me, so I'm totally okay with this. Alright guys, it's comparison time. Here's a look at the new movie April, standing alongside the Nickelodeon April. And here she is alongside one of her past movie versions from the TMNT CGI film. And since we've had so many versions of April in the past, here she is alongside many of them from the various Ninja Turtles toy lines. So there you go guys, there's a look at the brand new movie April O'Neil figure. So. Actress likeness is not there. She doesn't look like Megan Fox. 
She's also very limited in articulation, so you're not going to get a lot of poses out of her. It's very similar to what we've seen with a lot of past incarnations of April in figure form. But she does include some nice accessories, and she's got a great paint job, and I like the sculpt overall. She's a nice looking figure, you just won't be able to get a lot of posing or playability out of her. The fact that she doesn't look like Megan Fox could be a good thing or a bad thing, because if you don't like the fact that Megan Fox is April, then this is probably perfect for you. She actually looks like just a really nice April figure, so you could display her with some of your other Turtles figures if you wanted to. The brand new 2014 Ninja Turtles movie figures are hitting store shelves right now, so happy hunting, and until next time.